I'm, you know, the funny thing is, as much as I love card magic, I do have no, a problem he showed sometimes. Us you know, I don't always just do street magic like this. I do occasionally get hired to do big stage shows. I do, like, community festivals, school programs, things like that. Now, if you're up on a great big stage in front of a great big audience, and you take out your average deck of cards, you have a small problem. Literally. The cards are too small. You figure even the people in the front row can't see what's going on. And those poor folks way in the back row with the bifocals and stuff, they can't see anything. That's why I went down to the novelty oh, shop oh, and oh, got oh, myself oh, 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 the Jumbo oh. Deck. The king size cut. Yeah. 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 You figure even the people in the back row can see what's going on with these. Unfortunately, they're so large that sleight of hand is out of the question. That means I need two assistants to help me out with this trick this time. All right, we'll take the young lady in the front and the young man. All right, the young man in the front. Yeah, sure, you step right up here, too. Oh, 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 it's the two of them. Now, here's what I'm going to do. It's very simple. I'm going to flip all these cards. Totally brand. I want you to put your finger somewhere on the deck. Hold your finger on top of the card, okay? Griffin. Hold your finger right there. Fantastic. Now, look at your card. Let everybody see it. Everybody see it? I didn't see it. You in the blue. Can you see that way back there? Yeah. What is it? Let me tell you. Yeah. It's a six of hearts. Thank you very much. You just saved me an awful lot of work. No, I'm kidding. He told me what the card is. It doesn't matter if I know what it is. It's not that kind of card trick. Now, watch carefully. Watch. I don't wear a watch. Nothing to do with the trick. But I'm going to take this card. I'm going to put it here on top of the deck. I'm going to start cutting the cards. At some point, would you just say, stop? That was quick. All right, wait a minute. No, they don't want Let's pick it up one more time. All right. I'm going to flip the cards one more time. I want you to put your finger in the deck somewhere. Do exactly like he just did, okay? Hold your finger right there. Fantastic. Let's see how good she is in following directions. Did she do? Oh. oh. Exactly the, the same. Hey, I got an idea. How about next week and the three of us will do Vegas, huh? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. For some strange reason, they don't let me gamble in Vegas anymore. Go figure. Big hand for my lovely assistants here. Take it out. Well, now, folks, it's getting time for the grand finale, the big finish. This is what I like to call the educational portion of the program. Don't get scared. It's not like school. No, this is where we're going to do a little show and tell. I'm going to tell you all the story, and I'm going to show you all a little game. Now, you can tell this is a true story, because a magician is telling this story to you. And you all know you can believe everything a magician tells you, right? Yeah! I love this crowd. You're very gullible. I mean, present, present. That's the word I was looking for. No, you see, many years ago, when I was just a young lad, I was strolling through Brooklyn, and I came yeah. upon a guy sitting up by an alley with a little tabletop, huh? and he was playing a card game with the people passing by. It was a hustle, a swindle, a scam, a con. The name of the game was Three Card Monty. Now, the way it worked, you see, is the guy would lay face up on his table three cards, say two black ones and one red one. He would point to the red one, try to watch that red one. He'd turn the cards face down, he'd mix them up, scramble them around, and then he would bet you money that you couldn't point to where the red one was. Of course, the first couple of times he did this was rather slow and sloppy. You followed along, you guessed correctly, you won your bet. The idea being, of course, that as you started winning, you'd make bigger and bigger bets, and then he would use his sleight of hand to fool you. Now I, of course, don't do the three card Monty, because that's illegal gambling. It's wrong. So instead, for entertainment purposes, I like to play a game I call Cosmos Three Kid Monty. And that means I need three kids to help me out. Who wants to help me out? We'll take the young lady on the end there. Oh, and you're on the other young lady. Both of you ladies, come up here. You both of you can come up. You don't want to, all right? Just one of you. You want to come up or not? Oh, she changed her mind. All right, we'll take the two young men. And we do need a young lady from somewhere. All right, all the way to the back there, the young lady in the back. Step right up here. Yay. All right, young man, would you stand here? <laughs> young man, you stand right there. Young lady, you come over here. All right. Now, folks, as I said, I this is not the three card, Monty. This is the three kid, Monty. So instead of cards, I use kids and coloring books. All right. 
Now, for you young Emily man, loves I coloring. Have a coloring book. It's got the pretty black and white pictures. It has magicians and magic shows. Oh, shows. I know this trick. It's got birds and bunnies and everything, okay? I want you to hold on this much like you're hugging a teddy bear, okay? Fantastic. Aww. Now, for you young man in the middle, we also have a coloring book with the pretty black and white pictures, the magicians, the magic shows, and everything, okay? You hold on this, hug it like a teddy bear, okay? Last but not least, with a lovely young lady on the end, we have the coloring book with the colored pictures in it. Everybody go, ooh! ooh. All right, hold on, let's hug it like a teddy bear, okay? All right, now folks, in a moment, I'm going to fix these kids up. After I mix them up, I'm going to put my hand over their heads. When I put my hand over the head, the young person you think has the coloring book with the colored pictures in it. You're going to clap a plot and make lots of noise. We'll do a dry run through to understand the concept, okay? You like that on board. <laughs> all right, now that's all the help you get throughout the rest of the game. Now, kids, in a moment, I'm going to say, ready, set, go. When I say go, we're going to kind of play follow the leader, like musical chairs. You follow me, you follow him, you follow him. We're going to walk around in a circle. While we're walking around in a circle, I'm going to count down from five down to one. When I say one, you're going to stop where you're at. This way, mix them up like they mix up those Monte cards down in the city. Okay, you ready? Set, go. Here we go. Follow me. Five. Beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful day. Nice. Thank you again.